Hey everyone, welcome to another week of Divesoft TV. I'm your host, Joe Boskis. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is our Liberty Oxygen Cell Tester Kit. Now, this is an accessory that we sell that's part of our kind of accessory lineup that goes for the Liberty Rebreather. So what it does is it tests your oxygen cells to make sure that they are not current limited. And we'll go into all of those details, how to set it up, what comes in the kit, and um, what the test actually looks like. So let's dive in. What comes in your Liberty CCR oxygen cell tester kit? Well, it looks like you just have a bunch of different hardware pieces, but what comes with it is this hardware face plate that goes on the head of your Liberty, the head of your head, right? We have this base plate, we have this knob, and we have this bottom plate and then these different components that go, that's part of your head. Now, you can see here that I have my Liberty head, I have it turned on, but I removed the handsets, the heads up display, and the buddy display of the head. And I also removed the screws of the handset itself. So I have it just plugged in back and forth, make sure you get it right back in. And then I have an oxygen uh, cylinder and I have my oxygen regulator and I have a low pressure hose and this hose is going to feed direct, directly into the head. What I'm going to do to build it, I'm going to remove the handset, I'm going to take this base plate, I'm going to plug it in here and then I'm going to take this top plate, actually this uh, smaller piece goes into the inhale side and then I put, take this plate and I push it straight down, make sure everything's nice and flush. Then I'm gonna take that bottom piece and I'm going to screw the knob straight in here to the top. You can see that the, the plate needs to be held in. So what the oxygen cell tester kit does is it basically creates a uh, pressure system for the Liberty head. It turns the head into a, uh, a pressurized chamber. So why would we need to do this to test our cells? So when we calibrate our oxygen cells, we're essentially measuring what they do when they look at 100% oxygen or 21% oxygen, such as in ambient air. Now, something that we cannot determine is that if the cells are, ha if they have problems, that means they will be what's called current limited. If they are current limited, that means that they cannot essentially go above a, a PO2 of 1.0. They cannot go, the cell cannot go to the higher millivolts, right? Basically, it'll hit a certain millivoltage and it'll begin to kind of be weak or taper off even though the PO2 is increasing. Right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to test it, what the cell will do if the PO2 increases beyond 1.0. So this, this uh, cell tester kit will allow the system to go up to up to three bar of pressure. So that means we can test the oxygen. We can see what the millivoltage are of the sensors when it goes beyond three bar. Right, so you can see that I built it. I have the bottom plate with the knob. I have the plate in the, the bottom of the head case. And then I have the two systems that go into the inhale and exhale port. And then I have the other plate on top. Now here we have a bleed screw. We'll make sure that's good and work functioning properly. I take my handset and I'm going to reattach the handset. And that's gonna take a moment to power up. During that moment, I'm gonna get my oxygen feed, my low pressure oxygen feed, and that's gonna screw, screw it in to the um, solenoid feed of the oxygen. I'm sure you guys like our new studio. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create a more, uh, an interesting place. This is our workshop back here. So this is where I keep a lot of our rebreather fleets. All right, so as we're powering up the Liberty Rebreather head, the, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going into my main menu 
and then I'm going to scroll down to applications. You can see I haven't turned on the oxygen yet. Then I'm going to scroll down below the games, below the analyzer, and you can see that I have O2 cell test. I'm going to select that. Now it's going to prompt me to press key one for start. So I make sure the bleed screw is closed and then I'm going to follow the instructions. So I'm going to press key one for to begin. Now it's telling me flushing with oxygen. So at this point, I'm going to open this oxygen cylinder. I'm going to open it nice and slowly so that the unit can add gas. So remember what it's doing is that it's going to be pressurizing the vessel. So it's going to be cycling through. So you can see that we're pressure, uh, the pressure is beginning to build as the unit's adding gas. Then it's going to ask me to open the release valve and then I'm going to open it nice and slow as I'm watching the pressure drop. And we're going to cycle through this five times. This process may take a little while, so we may have to be skipping ahead or bouncing around. So here we are. We are at cycle four out of five. It's at, the Liberty is asking me to open the release valve. So like I said before, I'm opening the release valve nice and slow. You guys can guess what happens if you unscrew all the way, right? This little guy will run away. Fortunately, there's no steel ball bearing inside, so don't you worry about that, folks. But I do recommend you do not unscrew this all the way. Just let it cycle out nice and slow. You may want to jimmy the handle a little bit to uh, help with the bleeding process, but it will bleed all the way in due time. Remember, we are operating with oxygen, so nice and slow is the way to go. Once we uh, finish through cycle four out of five, there's a few more before we get our test results. Now it asked me to close it. Usually it's around 1.2 bar that the uh, unit will turn around from opening the release valve to closing the release valve. Nice and slow. Now it's really great that the um, the capacity for us being able to do to do this is fortunately for a lot of things because of attaching this pressure vessel this kit to our Liberty head and using the fine and coarse sensors inside the head and the oxygen feed coming from the solenoid so the computer is able to give the right amount of dosage of oxygen or amount of gas in order to pressurize the system as it can sample. You can see that we've, uh, we have the release valve open, but we are still measuring. So we are measuring point two out of seven. We are measuring what the sensors are doing at the particular pressures. So we can see the millivolts right on the right side of our screen. We can see that the first sensor is 74.2, second is a little bit higher. It's, and it looks like the second cell is the highest out of all four of these.
So now we have our cell test results. You guys can see here we have our reference numbers. That's at 1.03 bar. 0.21, we have what the sensors are reading. Now, like we said before, what does a perfect cell test look like? All of these numbers would be at zero, negative zero, because that would show that it would follow the linearity profile that we're looking for. When we see negative one, negative one, negative one, it's at the different sampling points. We can see that it's negative 1% below where our linearity would be, and we'll just get right to that. We can see as we go farther at three and a half bar that our slope is now negative three. So it looks like cell one begins to taper down the most. Well, we can see how the lines are quite actually quite straight, but over time, as we go beyond three bar, we can see that they start to separate. And here we're gonna, we can actually see what are the actual millivoltage that would be calculated out. So there, that's how you can determine how far off we are from the slope. And then we're still back to our reference points. Now, overall, this is a pretty good test. I'm very happy with this, but it does tell me that cell three, I may wanna keep an eye over it over time as we go on. Now I push both buttons to scroll back and I can release the low pressure so I can shut off my oxygen and I can begin to release the pressure. Now something that's also really, that's new and pretty cool with the new electronics is that we, uh, one of these selections is that we can calibrate our cells. So I can go right to the calibration screen, boom right there, I can get a very steady oxygen cell calibration with 100% O2. And then I can release the pressure. And I can tell the system that I wanna release the low pressure and that releases it from the solenoid while my valve is shut down. So I'm relieving the pressure in, this, in the line. All right, everyone, by the end of this video, you would have seen that our uh, oxygen cell tester kit is capable of testing your oxygen cells, makes it a very, very handy tool to make sure that your O2 cells are uh, very healthy and able to function properly. You're able to see the life of them. You can see if one of them is beginning to fatigue um, so that you can keep an eye on them or you can change them. Remember to rotate them. I always prefer to rotate one out of my four every three months or so. That kind of keeps the cost down and it also kind of randomizes the batch, which is very, very good. I hope this video was interesting and helpful to you, to you guys. If you guys have any more questions, be sure to reach out below on any of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, even on Twitter. So send us a message, give us a call, or just come by the office and come visit. So we'll see you next week. Thanks, everyone.